From the Harold Jaffe Jeweler Studio, welcome to Love My 419. I'm Clint Hazlett, this is Danny Lee, Marissa Million, Steve Remy. Hey, it's springtime, you guys. Yes. Don't you love it? Dang. Yes, you Good. look like you're ready for a picnic. I'm so springy. Yeah. We've got the sunshine, the picnic, the grass. Let's go, guys. That's how we dress. <laughs> I'm just happy because I can keep Columbia gas out of my behind. Right? <laughs> Wow. Yeah. <laughs> there That's it the is. Truth. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. But a little sad note. Farewell. This is the final show. He's gone. Ryan Seacrest. Oh. Gone from Ryan and Kelly, Kelly in the morning. Well. So is it true that they're bringing on her husband? Yes. Her husband? Yeah, I don't know. How long That's will that last? a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I listen. I would not be at my pinnacle performance if my fiance was here. No. I mean, that's 24-7. Wow. You're with the other. Yeah. For like all day, yeah. all night. Maybe they work different than they do at home. They may get divorced. Maybe they live in separate houses. It's a professional yeah. relationship. I don't know. So what's happening on our show yes. today? Yes. Well, all hail the new chief TPD as a new lead, but are we all going in the same direction? Okay, so an irresponsible child creates a responsible consequence for his mother. Wow. Mm. Yes. And Sandusky wants to float your boat and your mortgage. All that and more on today's Love My 419. We'll be right back. Love My 419 is brought to you by Harold Jaffe Jewelers. They're awesome. You're awesome. Thank you for watching Love My 419. My 419 is brought to you by Harold Jaffe Jewelers. They're awesome. You're awesome. Thank you for watching Love My 419. Here at Harold Jaffe Jewelers, whether it's a small repair on a family heirloom or changing the battery in your watch, appraisals for insurance, on-premise repair and manufacturing, we're Harold Jaffe Jewelers. One of a kind. Welcome back to Love My 419. I'm Clint, this is Danny Lee, Marissa, and Steve. And we are brought to you by Bassett Nut Company, formerly Rachel Michaels Popcorn. And if you mention how much you love Rachel Michael, we'll hook you up with a free bag of nuts. Always nice. That's wonderful. There it is. Yeah. So tell us about Mercy Health. Steve, I'm excited about this. So it's a five-week program start called Starting Fresh. So they're really diving into the needs of especially people in the community that are trying to address chronic health. So for instance, chronic disease, uh, heart disease, diabetes. So it's a program each week they're going to address these needs in the community. And they're doing it right in the heart of the city, right there at the facility over on Bancroft and Franklin. So I'm really excited about yeah. this because they're, Mercy's meeting the need. In right. that community, so I I'm, do. I feel like it's really important, though, because right now their first like trial, like they're starting it out on the diabetes and pre-diabetes. Mm -hmm. So what they're doing is educating people on it, and every week they're going to go ahead and like focus on something different. I love mm -hmm. it. I do too. I and love it. And then they they'll change it up as they need yep. to as they need to. But I feel like it's great pre like preventative. Well, and they're doing the right things education. because they're addressing. They're doing education. Yeah. They're providing resource right. and support. That's the biggest thing because it's one thing to teach somebody about it, but it's another thing to tell them how to be supportive. Instead mm -hmm. of just being like, hey, here's some medicine, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. It's better to teach them like, if you do this, if you do this with your diet and you do this and you need to be checking this, mm -hmm. then people can get better results because they have more information. So I feel like it's awesome. It's I think it's really good. Yeah, I think it's, it's we needed this. We needed this. Definitely. My, my yeah. dad's actually diabetic. And yeah. he, yeah. My parents so. were too, so. Mm. So we're going a little step further than just your surface care. Yeah. We're going a little bit deeper. That's nice to know. Love it. Uh, Steve, what, there's something going on with uh, the police chief getting sworn in, but there's some other uh, news attached to that. Well, so there, I guess what's happening is we, we have this new chief in here, and the regime or like what was – the, what was before is not going to work with what he wants to do for the future. In what ways? So there's so one, say for instance, you know, just with, you know, the way that he's trying to reach the youth in the program. Mm -hmm. He has a lot of different ideas on how to rid the, some of the crime that's going on in the city. So you know, he has a lot of ideas, but it, again, it comes down to finances, support system, that type of thing. So right. I believe there was a there's a class going in right now, correct? 
Yes. Um, okay, so yeah. I actually know someone who used to work for me is in there. Oh, and he's, really? Yeah, he's amazing. Oh. And he's a personal trainer. He was awesome. He's in great shape, and he's so friendly. But I, w I actually just saw pictures of him. It looked like the class only had probably about 30 people in it, and there's like 32 jobs available, but yet there was only like 30 guys in the room is, is how it looked to me. Mm. Oh, so wow. how do you do that? Not everybody. Does so everybody get in? We are negative. Right. 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 No. Yeah. We need them. We do. That's usually there's more applicants. Right. Like usually you're picking out of 70 or 80 right. with like 32 yes. right. jobs available. So then you're really going on a point system. So um, I've actually, I actually know a little bit more about this than I should, but right. <laughs> um, my daughter's father was actually in the police academy. Okay. So they go by like a point system and it was, it was hard. It yeah. was very hard a few okay. years ago to get in. It was rough. And now it's like, it's, it's a little different when you have 32 Jobs available and only thirty applicants. It's so it, that's they crazy. Let people slide easier now, or is it not as hard to get in? Or I what? mean, by looking at the facts, I mean more people. They're all going to make it. See, that's when you got to ask yourself, why aren't there more applicants? Right. There's a well, lot of reasons. There's a lot that. of reasons, but yeah. yeah, and that's another show, I believe. That's right? yeah. That's so, a whole nother yeah. show. Well, the, yeah. to continue this show, there was a wonderful challenge that yes. was met recently. Tell us about it. Well, I did that challenge. I was one of the first uh, people to do that challenge for this season. But Steve survived the hot sauce Ooh, challenge, yeah. too. Oh, nice. Yeah. He survived, he survived. Everyone. He did fantastic. He did. He did. We all we went and saw him. And you know what? <laughs> so how'd it go, Steve? Oh, my gosh. So it was fine. So the show is called... Um, uh, what is it called? Sample the heat. Sample yep. the heat. Yep. Sample the Robert heat. Rossi. You did exactly that. Oh, I sampled he some did. heat <laughs> and then some. So, so there were ten. There were ten. There were ten. ten. So ten the premise of the show is mm -hmm. you get to sample all these different sauces of different degrees. Mm -hmm. They partnered up with Stubborn Brothers. Yep. They oh. do this out at Brood Work. Oh, so that's beautiful. But man, I got to like the eighth one, and it's called Da Bomb. And it was. Oh, baby. Yes. It, it took was. my breath away. Yes. It was so wild. Okay. Everyone wants to know one thing. How were you feeling after? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about the next day. Thank God for two ply. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Did you, did you yes. take some work? Did you baby. have Tums next to your bedside? Tums, Pepto Bismol. Yep. A cross, <laughs> the Bible, <laughs> some holy water, everything. Well, you guys shouldn't be laughing because you're up next in the next season. Yes, Thanks for the warning. Right. Together. We'll see Together, what happens. Together, you guys. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We'll I'm see what happens you. on the next one. Right? <laughs> Sometime in uh, July, right? Is yes, that... yes. Okay. We'll build up our tolerance. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm already there. I'm going to do it up. That's fine. <laughs> we'll be right back right after this. Love My Fallen Nine. Brought to you in part by Powell's Beauty Supply, servicing Toledo for over 30 years. Also brought to you by The Butler, Master Barber, changing lives one haircut at a time. Find him inside the barbershop, North Reynolds Road. Coming up, more love my 419. Black and white sports, no gray. What you don't do if you Serena Williams is allow Russell Wilson and Sierra to attend <laughs> the jam event sitting up there in damn sunglasses. That's why she lost. That's why she lost. I don't want to hear nothing about running to the corner. I don't want to hear nothing about no shots. I don't want to hear nothing about no young girls playing tennis. Damn front running, let's ride. Uh, uh, one, two step. Man, get your asses out of here. 10 a.m. Saturday, ESPN 100.7, The Ticket. Thanks for being with us. This is Love My 419. This is Clint. I'm Danny Lee, Marissa, and Steve. Let's talk 419 Nation. And this segment is brought to you by Monroe Auto Service and Tire on the corner of Monroe and Talmadge. <laughs> so okay. you guys, let's talk about this. This, I love this story. So we're talking Carolyn Clark. So she married her husband, Andrew. And, you know, they said, hey, you know what? They've had a long history, 138 years of only boys being born into this family. So knowing this, she said, you know what? We're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and get married. So all of a, so they had, just back in 2020, when they did have a miscarriage. So they were able to have another child. And then they said, okay, we don't want to know the gender. But secretly, they actually did. Mm. So what they did is they arranged to have a bakery make a bunch of cakes. They got the family all together. And they said, we're going to do this reveal. They're all wearing blue. They all get the cake. <laughs> right, right. They all get the, they get the cookies. They bite into it. And it's pink. So the family is having their first 
girl in 138 years. The drought Think is Think about over. family reunions, man. 138 okay. years? That yeah. last name is going to carry on for a very mm. long time, the way this is set up. How is that even... I possible. love that. I love that. Years. That's awesome. 138 man. all boys. All boys. It's a, special, it's a special little girl now. That's yeah. a very special little girl. But I want to know when can I go to the family reunion? I'm tipping <laughs> up in there. Honey. I'm going up in there. Honey. Oh, you no. and me both, honey. I'm bringing me oh, a casserole, God. some dinty right. more. I'm bringing something. Oh, my I'm, I'm going to that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> In other news, <laughs> the Dalai Lama. What is up with the Dalai Lama? Oh, okay, everybody, come on. Man. So he, he apologizes it. after a kissing boy vi video. Okay. Because he had to. Well, of course he had to. Because it was pretty bad, honestly. I didn't know the Dalai Lama was even alive still. Well, so <laughs> he goes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, he's the best known Buddhist figure in, in the world. I know, yes. and I do okay. practice Buddhism. <laughs> Yeah, so this happened. So Sorry. this wow. this inappropriate, alleged, let's say was alleged. It? Was it alleged? Well, there's video. He apologized. Well, he did. So inappropriate behavior. So he goes. So there's about a hundred young students that had mm -hmm. graduated from this Indian M3M foundation. Yeah. So what basically happened is he had asked the boy to give him a kiss on the lips, but somehow it transferred into sucking of the tongue. And, and I'm and like, that didn't happen though. Oh, right, right. right. Not on video. They wanted a hug, Not. and then he pointed to his cheek, got a got a kiss on the cheek, and then he said on the lips, and then he looks at the kid and says, "Now suck my tongue." <sighs> oh my uh, goodness! Yeah. An apology so, was so good enough. So hugs, lips, tongue. Ew. You know, I'm I don't out. think the word tongue in like child right. should ever be ever in be. the same thing. Okay, guys. But and I don't think a part so of it's the good best enough. part of it. Now, there are people saying that this is a child abuse situation. Well, well, yeah. That's a little sick. It's not little. It's it's really sick. Yeah. If it was my it's kid, nice. I wouldn't be. Yeah. It, it only takes one story like this to yes. You know, for any person to just be categorized as grotesque. Yes. And is he apologizing only because he got caught? Like I don't like this. It's a regular thing. Uh, this is not well. He he is very popular and well known. Yes. Yeah. But this is big. In this, light it's of very awkward. Yeah. Well, I didn't even want to say the word tongue. Right. Oh, I know. right. <laughs> well, in light of the this. day and the times in which we're living in, he yeah. says the controversy actually prompted an apology from the Dalai Lama, who said his behavior had been innocent and playful. Uh, don't uh, think so. Don't oh, play that way. Yes. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. The Center for uh, Child Rights condemns oh, this. Oh, Lord have mercy. That's so, who's saying it's child abuse, Everybody actually. should condemn this. That's uh, nasty I would stuff, have to right? agree. So let's talk about this. Uh, mm. A six-year-old shooter this past January shot his teacher at school, Oof. shot through her hand, the bullet uh, entered her chest, remains there after surgery. No she's way. traumatized. She's, she's still recovering. She's recovering. At this point. Okay. She's suing the, the school district and the school for lots of money. Now this students, the six-year-old's mom, okay. is under indictment now. Right. So okay. they're indicting the mom. Hey, six, they're letting the six-year-old not face charges, right. okay. but the mom is. She's responsible for yeah. this. Yep. And so she's being charged with a felony child neglect, uh, misdemeanor, uh, leaving a loaded firearm as yes. to endanger a child. As she should. This is right. I, right. This is I, not controversial. Yeah, it's about the, um, the, the lack in putting the gun in a safe place yes. right. where it yeah. couldn't be right. taken by home or to school by your six-year-old. Yeah. Yeah, there's safety steps where she could have yeah. done and to prevent this. So she, no. uh, she was turning herself in this week. Well, good so, for her. Yeah, so she, yeah. should be. she should be. She should be. Taking accountability. This. She's 25 years old. Because I remember yeah, my age, she's fairly young. for show and tell, I was taking, you know, my Barbies and big gym Play sports camp. You were. I wasn't taking. I wasn't packing uh, right? heat for right. show and tell. These I days mean, you do no. not know. Yeah, no. the six-year-old shouldn't be accountable. He, that's really young. Like, I remember Easton being six, and that's just I personally innocent, think you know? the felony child neglect, I think that's going to go through. Yeah, right. definitely. I really do. Yeah. Um, and then the, the gun charge is more, it's a misdemeanor. Right. But I do think that she will end up with something. I'm not an attorney, but realistically knowing all the facts of the a case, jail time. I think she'll be getting in trouble for yeah. something. Unfortunately. We're going to take a little break. We'll be right back. And then there was Lila. So what do you get the woman who gives you the best gift of all? The answer, Harold Jaffe Jewelers. No one else compares. Harold Jaffe Jewelers, one of a kind. 
always has been, and always will be. She deserved Harold Jaffe. And someday, so will she. Oh! <laughs> I got a question, though. You know how that, you know the attic at BG, where you gotta walk up all them stairs? What's gonna happen when you're too old to get up them stairs? I'm not old, though. How does Harry <laughs> old? I have no wrinkles. Oh. No, you don't! <laughs> They're gonna be like, I don't You're know. You're gonna she be just 40 got someday him. soon. Shut up. <laughs> How old are you? No, I'm 35. Girl, you got no, five I'm years. No, I'm actually 34. I'll be 35 no, this youngsters. year. Six years. Youngsters. Six. Youngsters. Honey, my mom was literally 70 and had she was looked like right? she was 40. I'm fine. She had no problem telling me exactly what she wanted. Those were just hints. A little over a carrot with a brilliant cut and a simple platinum setting. See, that's a little more than a hint. Well, it is the ring of my dreams. I took the hint and I went to Harold Jaffe Jewelers. Smart man. Harold Jaffe Jewelers, one of a kind. Always has been, always will be. I'm thinking a platinum band with a few diamonds around it. Or maybe it should go all the way around. Welcome back to Love My 419. I'm Steve, Barissa, Danny, and Clint. And now it's time for 419 stories you need to know. The 419 stories you need to know! Did you guys lose your taste? Yes. And smell? I, and I still will lost remember mine. it. It's, yes. You guys, I yeah. didn't. Oh, I You're did. You're lucky. I, did. I mean, I just lost my was. taste in men, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just yes. kidding. I love you. I lost mine years ago. Oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, there's this Ohio woman. She, she smells coffee for the first time after two years from yes. COVID complications. That's rough. When you can't smell coffee and when you can't taste coffee. I know. Yeah. Tell me sad. about it. I prefer to not taste coffee. No. I'm trying I to get a Whopper not. today and I know I can't I taste mean, it because I still lost it from COVID, you guys. Really? So. Yeah. If I lost my you sense of taste up. and smell, <laughs> I'd be eating lettuce every day. But <laughs> you have to understand, good. this woman, her name is Jennifer Henderson, she drank like seven cups of coffee. There we go. Oh. Yeah. That was the oh, thing. So she was part just, of her life. It was part of her life. Well, maybe she that's what made her lose her taste. It could be. You know. You wonder what kind of coffee she drinks. Like wind song. Sanka stays on your mind. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah, so. that's true. Yes. Well, let's talk oh. Tupperware, everybody. Oh. You ever remember Tupperware? Oh, you got a stash man. somewhere in your attic. My grandma, my aunts. Oh, yep. The you parties. Know. Do you but, guys remember like the parties? Oh, yes. Your yes. Yes. Tupperware parties. You were you were banished to the outside yes. as a kid. You were not to come in and ruin no. the Tupperware event. Oh, I that remember that. Crystal this. House parties. And Mary Kay and Mary Avon. Kay. You guys, I just Messed realized up. that was a pyramid scheme. No. Yes, you guys. And, and Amway and, and all it. that. Yes, yes. How many years? Multi-level yeah. marketing. <laughs> right? Seventy-seven years that this place is that Tupperware's been in business, but the stocks are plummeting like forty wow. percent and plummeting even faster. Wow. So I mean, they're so right now they're trying to raise money to keep this company afloat. But I mean, Tupperware is an American mainstay. Right. It is, but I feel I like we should glass. go to glass because I use glass personally. Cancer well, with the plastic. I'm not down shoot. with that. I was a down home hillbilly. You know if it can Shoot. fit in a Cool Whip container. That's butter right. container? Yeah. <laughs> butter container. I mean, if, if I wanted a big salad, I would use I'm the country I'm guilty of that in the past. Butter. Exactly. Yeah. That country cock. Oh, oh. <laughs> country, <laughs> country cock. Country cock. <laughs> yeah, the containers yeah. were My mom uh, would put refried place. beans in the country cock. I'm like, right. Mom, I need some butter. Oh, yeah. it's beans. Those were like free containers growing up. <laughs> In my mama's house, my mama's house, mind you, you could go under the cabinets and find them stacked because that was Okay, how many of them were stained like red spaghetti sauce? Oh, oh, yes. 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 That yeah. doesn't come out, man. Yeah. And bleach does nothing. No, nothing. Does not work. Yeah. Love no. it. Wow. That's funny. It just yes. looks like Michael Jackson afterwards. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so Sandusky's going to be uh, home to a village of tiny houseboats. I love this. Love oh, this. I love great place. Love this. Yes. Sandusky's perfect for this. It is. Yes. So the company is called Soul Stay, and they're based out of Ohio, actually. So they're doing floating tiny houseboats. It would be. I, love I think it'd be so fun. Like obviously for a family trip, but like our cast would have yes. a hell of a time. Oh yes. no! It'd Reality be, show. It would be. <laughs> it would be something no. that's. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, I think so, it's great. They were doing it in Tennessee. Yeah. They Correct. had been doing Correct. it in Tennessee, and it went over yeah. well there. I yeah. love it because you know in Sandusky you have Cedar Point, you have all these things to do, and yeah. then they have this. So Sandusky it's like a has whole kicked vacation. up their game. I think they, they really get. They are, are they top? They're the number one uh, place one. to visit yeah. in Ohio right number now, one. and they are kicked up, kicking up their game. There's a yeah. lot of great stuff going yeah. on. Um, they're the city theater, or the state theater rather, yep. and yep. Sandusky's getting uh, rebuilt. 
beautiful place. All kinds of stuff down on the water. Uh, what a wonderful place to hang out and to see this awesome neighborhood. And we don't have to travel like far if you want to take your family on a vacation that's not very far and, you know, more reasonable. Yeah. Go to so, Sandusky. So for those of you that are wondering where it's at, it was formerly called Fireside Lodging, which is now where this new community yeah. of floating house, tiny house boats are going nice. to be. Nice. But they're going to be glampy. Right. But they're going to yeah. be glampy. They say they're yeah. actually going to be glampy. Like glampy so all they're not, in. Yeah. So, <laughs> Sign yeah. me up. Us Sign too. Me, me up. too. We'll have to go and visit that. Yes. Save the date. There's a solar eclipse coming, everyone. That's crazy. Have you seen, like, the commercials are running locally on all the news networks, like this solar eclipse because it's so rare. And yeah. it's going to be basically in our part of the country. So really? start getting those ugly glasses that right. everybody wears. I mean, everyone wears ugly glasses around here anyway. Well, that's Except true. for you, Steve. Yeah. I don't. Oh, I love a little Hopefully fashion. it doesn't affect the mood because that's all I need is to be moodier. We do not need another Mercury retrograde right now. <laughs> Oh, I oh. barely made it through the last one. <laughs> so please, it. just be in the clips only. Uh, yes. <laughs> well, there you have it. We'll be right back after these messages. After 40 long years. We're calling it quits. Bring, Bring on, on retirement. retirement. Celebrate Harold Jaffe. No one else compares. Harold Jaffe, one of a kind. Always has been. Always will be. At our age, we deserve it. Here at Harold Jaffe Jewelers, whether it's a small repair on a family heirloom or changing the battery in your watch, appraisals for insurance, on-premise repair and manufacturing, we're Harold Jaffe Jewelers, one of a kind. Welcome back, Northwest Ohio. I'm Clint. This is Danny, Marissa, and Steve. Okay, guys. Positive affirmations to grow your personal and your professional relationships. We all need help in relationships. And yeah. there are nine affirmative phrases that will help build your relationships. Okay, and after reading through these, I, I can see that these don't just apply to your significant other. Right, correct. So these apply to your mom, your dad, your boss, your co-workers, mm -hmm. your child. A lot of these made me think of my daughter even. Yeah. And let's just say none of us have mastered relationships. Oh, no. Just me, Of Clint. all types. Well, except Duh. for Danny. Right. But, but, I mean, there are so many different flaws in, in the way we relate Definitely. with people. Definitely. Communication. Exactly. Communication is a huge flaw. Okay. Steve, what are your... What are your Three I'm going to remember three. this one when I go to the drive through McDonald's <laughs> over there on Collingwood. When I see the fry girl messing up my order, I appreciate your efforts. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't but like do you, Steve? That one? Do I don't you really. Appreciate I'm just going to wait for her when she get off work. <laughs> <laughs> but a key to these uh, affirmations is authenticity. And so we yes. want to make sure. Yes, that please, mean what, you say, please mean what you say. <laughs> Not to knock what for you real, just said. I real. really appreciate your <laughs> efforts. Right, right. Do you have a couple others, Steve? Yes. I forgive you. That's another one. Now, you took one of mine, Steve, so. Ooh. That's it. Uh -oh. yeah, we all shared that one. I think that's a big one. That's a big okay, one. Okay, so this is funny, but I like you. Do you ever remind people mm, that you like them? That's very true. I like you guys. I remind them when I, I don't kind like, of like them. You. I do. I, what I, I like say you, to them, you know. right. I always right. say to them, I say, I, you know, I just want you to know I really enjoy your company. Oh, yeah. I like that's that. what I, I say. I, I that's a really like good that. That's very personal. That's yeah. more. That's a, that's a good way of putting mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Okay, guys, here's the big one. And people struggle with this. In everyday life, I'm sorry. Ooh, yeah. I actually don't have a problem with telling someone I'm sorry. It's not, it's not like a thing for me. Some people have a really hard mm -hmm. time, and it's just not something I've just had a hard time with. A spin on that. I, I apologize too much. Do yeah. you? I am oh, yeah, you do. You do. <laughs> I, will, I will do something and Clint will apologize and be like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, Clint, no. it was me. I, I apologize on her behalf on a regular basis. <laughs> yeah. He does, everyone. No. But seriously, I, I, yeah. it, it's another issue. It's a little yeah. deeper yeah. when you apologize too much. There is a right. there's a yeah. middle ground. Right. Yeah. We'll work on that. That's, yeah, that's a good I feel one. like the apology has to be sincere, though. It does. Right? You know, I it feel does. like people can say sorry mm -hmm. and, well, it was and not mean it. What are some others? What are some others? I have some. You got some? Yeah. I'm committed to you. I, That's a good one. Yeah. If you're committed, I, I, I don't say know it that when you mean it. If I have to verbalize it, you should probably yeah. know I'm not committed to it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. I mean, now, it's one thing through wedding vows or something like that, but hey, guys, I want to let you know I'm committed to you. Yeah, my life should show you. You said you were committed the to jewelry. our cast. Yes. Uh, well, I am, but I should also show you in the way that I treat you. Well, yeah. how about this one? Let's have some fun. Because that's one of you them. You know what? Why not? That's a, <laughs> yes. that's a good one. Why not? Okay. 
here's one that I <laughs> struggle with. Okay. I'm listening. Oh. Because I am not what? usually yeah. listening. Yeah. Not. I don't. I have ADHD. I don't listen half the time. I say I'm that a lie. lot at work because I how I say oh, that's it, a like, good thing to say. At I'm work. listening to you, but could you be a little bit more clear? Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Oh, that's very good. Maybe we bring up uh, five other body language communication skills because right. if you're listening, your body's going to show it. Engagement. Yeah. Engaging. You can My eyes. eyes show it when I don't eyes. listen. You know that. Yeah. Your posture. So hey, okay. we're, we're, there, there are a lot of them over there. I'm sure there's more than nine yeah, phrases. You can search them up. Mm. Yeah. But hey, think yourself. about these things in your daily life when yeah. you're working with other people. Yep. Yep. Improving your relationships. So hey, closing remarks when we get right back at Love My 419. <laughs> I like to buy my own jewelry. I don't. I just don't want my jewelry to look the same as, well, everyone else. Where do I go? Harold Jaffe. No one else compares. Harold Jaffe Jewelers, one of a kind, always has been, always will be. One of a kind, huh? Is that my shirt? No, but I think that's my sweater. Maybe I'm in the wrong direction. It's the antenna. Yeah, maybe. You want me to do it again? <laughs> and everyone take a sip. I don't have a sip, I have lip gloss. Fake it, fake it, just do it. It's a good time for behind the scenes. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are we do, good now? Do we have to do it all again? Or are we uh, going to be... Sustaining 75 years of excellence is no easy task. So often, in our continued effort to remain the best, those little things that we do can get overlooked. Here at Harold Jaffe Jewelers, whether it's a small repair on a family heirloom or changing the battery in your watch, Appraisals for insurance, on-premise repair and manufacturing. Just more of why you can always rely on us. We're Harold Jaffe Jewelers, one of a kind. Welcome back to Love My 419. We now have some closing remarks for the show. Guys, what do we want to leave our viewers with? I had a great week and one of the joys and the highlights of my week, I went to sip coffee. Just, you know, just over there in West Toledo, over there, Cricket West. And I happened to see one of the staples and the icons of Toledo just enjoying his afternoon, saying hello to everybody that we're going into he the coffee the shop. Mike Bell. Oh, no, Mike Bell. Mike Bell was just sitting. He together. loves the show. Yes, he says he I loves love the show. That's awesome. He laughs, but I just love he's in retirement. He's just oh, sitting oh, out good. there. He was riding his bicycle. He was actually sitting there with Sandy good Eisenberg, nice. uh, son, their former host of the show. Yeah. Uh, just enjoying the afternoon. So I said, wow, Good what guy. a great point to be in life, to just oh, be sitting yes. there, summer day, spring day, you yeah. know, enjoying Hey, enjoying that's my time. one thing is right now, it is starting to get nicer out. We've all been cooped up. Everybody get outside and try, make yes. use of the outside activities. Yes. Right. Open them windows. Yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. Marissa, what do you have for us? <laughs> just enjoy the outside, enjoy Toledo, and just be. Yeah, for me, I'm that guy that mows his grass every single day. <laughs> it's time to get that garden. going. I don't garden, I'm just going to mow forever. We're hey. in New Balance. No, no. <laughs> go there. So hey, if you're watching us on Friday, have a great weekend. If you're watching playback on Sunday at 1 5, have a great week. We'll see you next time. I love my 419.